Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa Capron and I post new cleaning videos every Tuesday. Today I'm going to be showing you my weekly cleaning routine and I hope that you guys can clean with me and I hope that these videos motivate you all to get your weekly cleaning done. So if you're looking for a sign to clean your house, this is it. Before we get into the rest of this video, if you guys could hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel, it only takes a second and it means a lot to me. Thanks for watching! I like to start in my bedroom, especially on days that I'm not super motivated to clean because this room is the easiest and by that, I just mean it's the least messy room in my house. So I use this room to kind of get into my cleaning rhythm and then when I finish cleaning the bedroom, I'm usually way more motivated to clean the rest of my house. So for those of you who don't like to clean, start with something small or start with something easy and you'll probably want to keep going. My weekly cleaning routine in its most basic form for each room is pick everything up, wipe everything down, and then last clean the floor. Then sometimes I'll add deep cleaning tasks to that, but for today I'm just following my most basic weekly cleaning routine. I was wondering if you guys find cleaning videos motivating or relaxing or both. I started watching cleaning videos because I feel like they're satisfying and I would even watch them before bed because I found them relaxing but I quickly realized that they also made me want to clean my own house so I definitely find them motivating as well. Comment below if you find cleaning videos motivating or relaxing. Wipe down everything in my bedroom today. I'm using the Method Wood for Good spray. Now that I'm all done with the bedroom, I'm going to move into the bathroom and I've been trying to get into the habit of spraying down the toilet right away so that it can sit and kill all the bacteria before I wipe it down. And I'm using the Method anti -back Bathroom Spray and while I let that sit, then I'm going to clear off this counter.
clean this mirror. I'm using the Grove Mirror and Glass Spray as usual, and I do still have an affiliate link in my description box if you guys want to try out Grove. You can get a free five-piece gift set with your first purchase. I don't usually clean this tray every week, however this is an example of what I was talking about when I said I sometimes add in deep cleaning tasks to my weekly cleaning routine. Now I'm moving back to the toilet since it's been sitting for a while and I'm just going to wipe it all down. To clean the inside of the toilet, I'm using the Method Anti-Back Toilet Cleaner. And the reason that I don't clean the inside of the toilet at the same time as the outside is that because after I use this little brush, I'll hold it in between the toilet seat and the toilet rim, I guess you'd call it, so that it can drip dry a little bit before I put it back in its home. And I'll show you that right now. So while that sits, I'm not going to flush it yet because it will continue to kill bacteria until I do flush it. I'm going to Swiffer the floor and I did Swiffer the floor at this point less than a week ago and you will be shocked at how much this Swiffer still picked up. Next I'm replacing my hand towel and I would say that I probably replace these at least twice weekly. And that is all for the bathroom. Next I'll be moving into the living room but first I'm going to start a load of laundry. I've mentioned before that I like to throw in a load of laundry when I start cleaning because then when I finish cleaning the laundry is also done and I almost forgot today but I just remembered so I'm throwing in a load of my workout clothes. I always put my sports bras or any bras in these little laundry bags because then your straps won't get twisted around or stretched out and also the little pads that come in them will stay in them. 
And also another laundry hack is to use a little bit of vinegar. I put in one cup of vinegar with this laundry load and this just neutralizes any odors. It doesn't make your clothes smell like vinegar at all. Now moving into the living room and I'm starting again by just picking everything up. I feel like there's usually a lot to pick up in the living room and there's always clean laundry sitting in the living room also. In one of my first cleaning videos, I think I told you guys why I always have this blanket on the couch, but it covers up that giant hole in the leather that you probably just saw and it just makes it look a lot nicer. To wipe down everything in my living room, today I'm using the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray and this is the peppermint scent. This is a winter scent and I'm just trying to use it up because I know that by the time we get to next winter, I'm going to want to buy the new holiday scents. These roses in the glass jar are definitely dead but I've either convinced myself that they look okay or I'm just being lazy and not throwing them out. Not sure which or maybe both. The last thing that I have to do in the living room is vacuum and this is my absolute favorite part. I think that vacuuming is so satisfying, especially the vacuum lines on the carpet and then also seeing how much dirt and dust that you sucked up after. Next I'm moving into the kitchen and this is the last room that I usually clean in my weekly cleaning routine so right now I'm just picking everything up.
I am one of those people that would much rather clean a larger mess than a smaller mess. I find smaller messes almost annoying, but larger messes more fun to clean. So I'm not much of a daily cleaner or maintenance cleaner. However, I do think that dishes are part of my daily cleaning routine rather than my weekly cleaning routine, especially now that we aren't eating out pretty much at all. We have dishes to do all the time. Also, I don't talk about these much, but these sponges are my absolute favorite and they're also from Grove. I was scared about them being white at first, but they don't really get stained, um, except for maybe by red sauce, but I've also heard that you can put your sponges in the dishwasher and it cleans them and disinfects them, so I'll have to try that. To clean my stove top, today I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleaner and then to rub that in I'm using these walnut scrubber pads and these did work really well to get off all of the burnt on food and crumbs.
now my laundry was done washing so I'm gonna hang it to dry I hang pretty much all of my laundry to dry and especially my workout clothes I never put those in the dryer if you hang a lot of your clothes to dry you definitely need this drying rack in your life it's from Ikea and it holds about three loads of laundry The last thing that I do in my weekly cleaning routine is vacuum up all of the hardwood starting in the kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching my weekly cleaning routine. Hopefully it was helpful for you, motivational or relaxing, and I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.